I enjoy cooking. You seem to know what you are doing. Ah. Today's dip. <laughs> This will be useful. I appreciate. I appreciate your. I answered correctly. No need for praise. I appreciate <laughs> this will be there's so much left to learn I'd like to ask you something. I see. Professor. Professor? Returning from work, I take it? I commend you for working so late into the evening. All of my days at the Academy are enriching thanks to you. Try not to overtax yourself, alright? I'm concerned for your health. We wouldn't want you to wear yourself out. The Goddess won't smite you if you rely on others for help, you know. Listen here, Professor. You might not like what I'm about to say. To be perfectly honest, I had my doubts when I first met you. At first, I thought you seemed too young to be a professor. It is unusual, you have to admit. Yet, you seemed very composed and mature despite your age. You're strong-willed, encouraging, and you go to great lengths to ensure that everyone is cared for. But it almost feels like you're trying too hard to be a perfect role model for your students. If that's how you feel, then I can't disagree. But I think it's necessary to give yourself a break every now and again. The mind has a tendency to make mistakes when you've exhausted yourself. In my case, I still seem to make mistakes even when I'm wide awake. Oh, you know. I'm always mixing up the dates for drills or misplacing things. 
Just the other day, I forgot to put on my uniform and headed out to practice wearing only my... Oh, um... Well, you can imagine how embarrassed I was. My mind can be so scattered sometimes. Anyway, where was I? Ah, oh, that's right. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't push yourself too hard. If you do, you might end up in a pretty bad place. That reminds me, is there anything I can do to assist you, Professor? If it's all right with you, I'd like to help in any way I can. Whatever you need, just say the word. I look forward to helping you out. Well, I had fun today. Of course, you want to see me again, yes? Uh, of course. I'd love to, Dorothea. <laughs> well, until we meet again. Oh, hello, Professor. Were you watching that? Yes. Is there a problem with that? Look, I know what I'm doing. My claim as a diva won't last forever, after all. I must look to the future. As a man, you may not feel so rushed about these things, but I know my beauty will eventually fade. You? Really? I never would have guessed. Anyway, I'm not just playing games with these boys. This is for my future. You have no right to object. I very much want to find a good partner here at the Academy. Someone who will take care of me for the rest of my life. Finding someone to take care of me? <laughs> of course it is. Who could ask for anything more? Anyway, I value your opinion, Professor, but I won't have you interfering with my life plans. Unless you'd like to take care of me into my old age. <laughs> That'd be something, eh? How about it, Professor? I wasn't... <laughs> you aren't being serious, are you? I was just teasing. Or did you really just consider spending your whole life with me? If you did, that... <laughs> that actually makes me... <laughs> it makes me happy. I had no idea you might look at me that way. You've gotten awfully quiet. You might even be blushing a bit. Have I embarrassed you? If so, I'm very, very sorry. I should be going anyway. I'll see you later. Professor. Regardless of the quality, this is a good chance for us to prove our solidarity. It is not guaranteed to be good, even if everyone sings earnestly. It is not easy after all. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm honored that you invited me. I am ever so grateful. Have some, Professor. Huh? Lively places are my favorite. I like the monastery because there are always so many people bustling about. Have 
come, Professor. Professor. Mm. Right, right. Oh! That tea was very delicious. Please take care, Professor. <laughs>